Hello, my name is Jeff Gill, and I'm pleased to serve as the Senior Vice President of Membership for the Simon Kenton Council. In this volunteer position, my role is to work with folks throughout our territory and support the effort to expand the opportunity for youth to join our great program. I like to think that the best way to measure success when it comes to recruitment is asking ourselves, did our unit do everything we could to make sure 100% of the youth in our area heard about the message to join scouting? It takes a lot to answer that question with a resounding yes, but I look forward to sharing several strategies that will help ensure that more youth get that message. While the majority of new youth join our program in August and September, it's never too early to begin planning your unit's fall recruitment effort. Over this online series, I'd like to review a few key steps and action items you can take in the coming weeks and months to give your PAC the very best in recruitment results. Let's get started. The spring months are ideal to begin planting the seeds of success with your schools. Working closely with school administration with my own Cub Scout pack and having a chance to talk with many scouters across our council, I've come to realize that success means starting conversations early. In this session, you will learn about the four phases and timeline of the fall recruitment campaign, and hopefully you will have a better idea and comfort level of just what you are asking of your school principal or administrator. As I mentioned, it is critical to start early and by early May, make a call to your school. This really needs to take place that early, even a little earlier. Remember, our goal is to have 100% of the boys in your school area, your PACS area, get the message about joining scouting. So that will take a conversation with your local elementary school principal around the four phases of fall recruitment. We'll take a deeper dive on each of the phases, but I'd like to introduce them prior to getting into detail. Phase one, let's be part of the welcome back to school literature that goes home to parents very early in the school year. Usually this goes home in the first week of school or even prior to the start of school via email these days. Phase two, schools have different names for an event where every family attends in preparation for the new school year. Sometimes these are known as curriculum nights, school open houses, or meet the teacher nights. Whatever the night is called in your area, it's important that your PAC leadership have a presence there. Phase three, executing a boy talk and a school night for scouting. It's critical to your PAC success. Uh, we'll discuss the various types of boy talks and the two methods of running a school night in subsequent sessions, but the important part is knowing that the boy talk takes the message right to the boys at the school. It's a commercial for scouting, ideally right in the classroom. A properly timed and executed boy talk can yield tremendous results. The school night for scouting is the second piece of the puzzle and gets tied right into the boy talk. There are also a few dates to pencil into your PACS calendar as you plan for your school night for scouting. You will want to ask your principal if any of these dates are preferred. August 27th or 29th, or September 5th, 10th, or 12th. We'll discuss the importance of those dates later. Lastly, phase four is about planning a community rally or a catch-all rally to allow boys to join after the initial boy talk and school night has been completed. So that's an overview of the four phases of the fall recruitment campaign. And while it isn't an official phase, Make sure you thank your principal for the support the school has given to the recruitment effort and maybe the school secretary as well. Don't be afraid to share any service projects your unit has done for the school and for the community. It's important to let your principal know how many boys from their school are in the scouting program and advancing. These stories can only help your school administration see scouting as a partner in education. Hopefully you now know the four phase plan and you're a bit more comfortable having that conversation with your school principal. Continue to the subsequent section of this online tutorial to learn more and to take a deeper dive into the four phases.